Metabolites and macromolecules. The major precursors for the formation of biomolecules are water, carbon dioxide, and three inorganic nitrogen compounds, ammonium, nitrate, and dinitrogen. Metabolic processes assimilate and transform these inorganic precursors through ever more complex levels of biomolecular order. In the first step, precursors are converted to metabolites, simple organic compounds that are intermediates in cellular energy transformation and in the biosynthesis of various sets of building blocks, amino acids, sugars, nucleotides, fatty acids, and glycerol. By covalent linkage of these building blocks, the macromolecules are constructed. Proteins, polysaccharides, polynucleotides, RNA and DNA, and lipids. Interactions among macromolecules lead to the next level of structural organization, supramolecular complexes. Here, various members of one or more of the classes of macromolecules come together to form specific assemblies serving important subcellular functions. Examples of these supramolecular assemblies are multifunctional enzymes, ribosomes, chromosomes, and cytoskeletal elements. For example, a eukaryotic ribosome contains four different RNA molecules and at least 70 unique proteins. These supramolecular assemblies are an interesting contrast to their individual components because their structural integrity is maintained by non-covalent forces, not by covalent bonds. And those are metabolites and macromolecules. Have a great day.